Yo guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video and in today's video what we're going to be looking at is again uh, it is a Friday so it will be the subscriber deck challenge now we have a subscriber who is called Squizzum and he put this deck in the comments and I think it is a really good deck I then went on to DM him on Discord so if you want to DM me on Discord in any uh, group chat that I'm in I used to link some so go join them then get me in DMs and DM me a deck and I will happily use it on a Friday when I use subscriber stack challenges just make sure you subscribe obviously uh, just to help me out and yeah so it's a, a very powerful deck from what I can see I haven't yet used it as it's just uh, going straight into the subscriber deck challenge we will be good doing a classic challenge so we'll see how it is and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the gameplay. Yo guys, so we are now in a game against Sir, Squiggly Sir, and uh, I feel like, like first play we could just go straight up in with a, a Goblin Gang just to force out a response. And while he actually has, oh god this deck's pretty strange, so I'm going to go in with a Bowler on the defence as well as a but um are we gonna I think I'm just gonna leave it and then I can go in with counter push really a lot of counter push here because we can go in with that lumberjack um balloon opposite lane and he won't have enough elixir to defend it both which is really good for us and now he's actually pulled that ball at opposite lane which really helps us out because we can get a ton of damage there we can rage up that balloon and get one or two hits off it was only one hit, but it's still a good amount of damage. And unfortunately, we couldn't get that uh, arrows onto both of them because we left it a bit late. But you know what? It's looking like it isn't going to matter. He does have the uh, damage advantage, but that's only because of his um, Royal Giant. And now we are prepared for it with our Archer's Ball or Minion Horde. And he most likely won't play it until it hits double Elixir again. Or he'll just go straight in. So we will just go ahead and go in with a minion hard. Uh, yeah, minion hard. And then we can arrows his troops. Get a good amount of damage to them. And he shouldn't get any more damage than the Royal Giant damage onto our tower. Now, it is looking quite bad right now. But we do have very good uh, offense, you know, with that Lumberjack Balloon Freeze. So we should be able to go ahead and take both towers so most likely this will be a two tower victory but if it comes to it we will be doing a three tower victory now i waited off on doing any players there because now we can do this which is a very good player for me because that fisherman won't do anything we get that freeze down and then we can go ahead and baller along with arrows everything and we get a ton of damage off you know uh, that then allows us to just go ahead and go right back in with that balloon um, lumberjack freeze again opposite lane. In fact, no, we're just going to keep it, the aggression up, you know, stop him getting too much damage on our towers. Now, he does he does go ahead and fireball it, but that shouldn't be too bad. We can pop that balloon in the rage, go ahead in with a goblin gang right here, which should stop the majority of the damage. We can go ahead and arrows all of it. And that takes tower. We will lose our tower, but we also have the damage advantage for this lane now, which is really good for us. He's going to go ahead and do that, so we're just going to go for minion hard. I won't be surprised if he fireballs it. He doesn't, which means we can take care of most of his troops. Go in for a bowler, go in for some archers, and then we can actually go in ahead and balloon freeze on top of that as he has nothing for it. In fact, now we're just going to go for a Goblin Gang, stop pretty much all hits on our tower, and then we can actually go in for a Balloon Freeze now. So I'm going to go Lumberjack on that Fisherman, I'm going to go Balloon here as it all gets raged up, and then I can go ahead and freeze that. And we will get quite a few shots off on the tower, that should be good game. Right, he can't do much now except cycle a... Royal Giant, which won't do anything for him as we have all the appropriate troops to defend in cycle. So it is pretty okay, well played, but at this point in the game, actually, no, it's good game to him. 
because he can just fireball it. Yeah, good game. Oh, no, wait. So if we freeze this, this means that we actually win the game because he couldn't get the log down in time and the fireball didn't do enough damage because after a nerf, it lost 5% of its damage to towers, which is absolutely amazing for us. He should have won that game if it wasn't for the nerf. But because of the nerf at the start of the season, we managed to pull through and win with this deck. I thought it had potential to do well, and it did do well. We should have lost that because we did play badly, but we won anyway because, you know, this, ge this game is just so strange, and that's why I like it. But yeah, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share the video to all your friends and uh, on group chats and get it out. Because then I can grow my channel and get videos like this out to more people. It just helps me out. And I will see you in the next one.